One of the things I loved about being a flight nurse was that my opinion really mattered. I was listened to. That wasn't true in every area of my life. Divorce and a walk through emotional battery had shaken up a lot of the trust I had in my own voice, my own value. When I began as a flight nurse, the guy who hired me said, one of my main goals in this job is to leave without knowing anyone who died in an on-duty crash. Sixteen years later, that goal for me had gone down not once, but several times. I was leaving to begin my new work as nursing faculty. I was thankful that I was leaving safely, just two more weeks till my last duty day. The flight began the same way they all did, pagers beeping, phones ringing, six minutes from sound sleep to blades turning as we flew towards the rural site of a motor vehicle crash. To describe it as a dark night would be an understatement. The reds, blues, and yellows of emergency vehicles were the only lights guiding us to the scene. The pilot switched on the night sun, that huge searchlight on the bottom of the helicopter that would help us find our way into a landing zone. God, they're putting us down in a hole, he commented. As was the routine, all eyes were intently focused out the windows as we descended. I was the only one who saw the brief glint of the wires just a couple of feet below the helicopter. We trained for this over and over again. It got to the point where we joked about it. It's called crew resource management, how to be heard in a situation of imminent danger, how to work as a team. We had all agreed on a code. Go around. I'd only said those words once before. That pilot had ignored me, doubted my judgment, though somehow we didn't crash. But if this pilot did the same thing, we'd all be dead in just a few seconds. Go around. That was the voice I should have used in so many other situations with other people. The pilot did exactly what was supposed to happen next. No doubt, just trust. A complete stop in midair, and then a slow, straight-up lift out of danger.